State Senator Ralph Anderson passed away just last week during the holiday at the age of 92. He represented District 7 in Greenville County, District 23 when he was in the House of Representatives and was described as a giant in his community and as an elected official. 7 News reporter Kim Brown has a look back at his life and legacy. It's a loss that cuts deep for those who knew and loved Senator Ralph Anderson. And I like to have fell out of my chair when she called and told me uh, that her father passed. Anderson passed away over the weekend of natural causes, according to the coroner. The news difficult to hear, especially for those who knew him well. To come from where he came from for, for 92 years and did the things that he did in this community for the state is, is, is a, a testament to his ability, as, not only as a thinker, but as a person with a heart. Senator Anderson and Kenneth Baxter, both members of the Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. That brotherly bond strengthened by an offer Baxter says lasted longer than he anticipated. He said, just do it temporarily. And he said, then, and that's all. I said, okay, no problem. February came, temporarily it was two years later. <laughs> That's how I did it for two years. Drove him down to Columbia and back every Tuesday, Wednesday. While serving on the Greenville County Council, many areas like the historic Nickeltown community saw the benefit of his hard work. He also served as president of the board of directors for the Phyllis Wheatley Community Center. In addition to that, Anderson served in the South Carolina State House for 22 years, both as a representative and as a senator from 1991 until 2013. Former representative and attorney Fletcher Smith served with him for many of those sessions. He had your back. He wasn't somebody that was going to cut you in the back. And if, when his, if he gave you his word, his word was his bond. Senator Ralph Anderson, a man of courage and integrity, leaves behind a great legacy of putting people first. He said, I always do my job like God is watching me. Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Senator Anderson's funeral will be Thursday the 5th at 1 o'clock in Springfield Baptist Church. The visitation starts at noon.